She pretended it wasn't happening. So, unprotected by your mother, how did you cope? I just try to keep out of his way. Sometimes I couldn't, sometimes he, uh, he came looking for me. Well, what did you do then? Well, there wasn't much I could do. It was okay if he was, uh, if he was playing drunk. I mean, I could defend myself, but other times I just had to, uh, I had to learn to live with it. I didn't have anywhere else to go, you see. Can you tell us exactly what happened on the night of your stepfather's death? Well, he came in and um, he was drunk. He started pushing me around, cursing at me, saying he hated my guts. Well, eventually he went off to, uh, off to work. I decided I'd had enough. So I packed my bag and then uh, went to the warehouse where he worked to tell him he'd got his way that I was leaving because of him. And then he started arguing with me again. Excuse me. There was a fight, and uh, well, he was drunk, and he fell against a piece of machine. It was a terrible, terrible accident. And I never meant for it to happen. No further questions, Your Honor. Mr. Callan, you say you went to see your stepfather on the night of his death in order to tell him that you were leaving home. Yes, that's right. Was that the only reason? Yes. Is it not strange, considering your poor relationship with your stepfather, that you bothered to inform him of your plan to leave? I needed to tell him how I felt. In other words, you went looking for a fight? No. No further questions, Your Honor. Does the defence have any more witnesses to call to the stand? No, Your Honour. No, thank you, Your Honour. In that case, I think we'll adjourn. We shall reconvene tomorrow morning at 10 o'clock to hear closing speeches. All right. I mean, it's just more evidence that he's guilty. I mean, killing his own stepdad. It's obvious he's always been a psychopath. Oh, come on, Jacqueline, you're being a bit hard on him. It's obvious that stepfather's an absolute monster. Well, that doesn't give you the right to kill someone, does it? an accident. I never meant for it to happen. Mum should have told me the truth. She was, she was just trying to protect you. Yeah, well, it looks like she failed, doesn't it? Have you seen Pete? No, sorry. Where could he have gone? Come on, I'll give you a lift home. No, look, we can't just go without him. And you can't hang around here indefinitely either. Gavin will find him. Come on. I had no idea. My dad was so violent with you, you know. All these years, I've remembered him as such a caring father. Well, he was to you. He hated me because I, I wasn't his. But if Mum knew what was going on, why didn't she do something about it? Why didn't she try and stop him? Well, that's all in the past now. What really matters is, is the present. Whether you can forgive me. I need to get away from here and clear my head. So is that enough? I don't want to talk about this anymore. By where are you going? I don't know. Well, I suppose the verdict could be as soon as tomorrow, then. Well, presumably. I'm so nerve-wracking. Still no sign of Pete? No, my darling, not yet. Now, look here. I thought you were supposed to be resting. What's the point? I can't relax. 
He's been gone for hours now. Come on, come with me. I'm going to take you upstairs, make you a nice cup of tea. Deliberate until you reach such a verdict. All rise. Pete. So what are you doing here? I thought you had your big day yesterday. I just want to talk to you. Well, maybe you should be speaking to Diane. Is she all right? I don't know. She stayed at her grandparents last night. Well, I did try to explain to her. I know you did. I know. I need some fresh air. Are you coming? I know you must be really angry with me for giving evidence yesterday, but I had no choice. No, no, I'm not angry with you. You're not? Well, how come? I gave up being angry with you a long time ago. I mean, you can't stay angry all your life, can you? No. I used to be furious when you shacked up with Kevin. And when you allowed him to get away with what he did. And then in prison, when I didn't hear from you. No, no, not yesterday. You've let me down my whole life. So why should I expect you to be any different yesterday? Look, you've come this far. It's just a little longer. I mean, they never take as long for a majority verdict. Siobhan? Come for the show. No, of course not. Oh, come off it. You can't wait to see Pete sent down. Actually, I came to see how you are. I feel sick. Well, that's to be expected. I'm just going to try and relax. How can I? I just want it to be over with them. I'm the guilty one. Why can't they just convict me and be done with Come it? Come on, you're being too hard on yourself. No, I'm not. I wish I'd done things differently. I really do. You know, there isn't a day goes by that it doesn't all come back to me. So why didn't you visit me in prison? I couldn't. All I could see back then was you kill the only man I ever loved. Except for my dad. You mean except for my dad? Yeah. You know, I did care for your dad. Care for him? Yeah, well, you know, we was only young, we were just kids. It was never like the way it was with Kevin. Hang on. So why the hell did you marry him then, eh? Because I... In them days, it was... Because you had to. Just because you were unexpected, it didn't mean we didn't want you. So my whole life has been an accident right from the start, hasn't it? It wasn't your mistake. It was mine. I've never done right by you. You know, the truth is, you did really well to put me behind you. You got a beautiful wife, a baby on the way. Yeah. Yeah. And I got a manslaughter charge hanging over my head. So it's just like old times, isn't it? Yeah. But I never, ever forgot you. You've got to believe that. And I never forgot about you, either. Right. 